This is so upsetting to me. I like, I, it's not even funny. It's just upsetting. Also, who the heck puts underwear on a baby? It's called a diaper. No, nah, dude, that baby just potty trained really early. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to Dope or Nope, the channel in which we rate products dope or nope, or we touch our toes and- <laughs> <laughs> He says it anyway. And then our nose. Let's I, do it, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> guys, today we have a video special here for you. Just like every single video is special. 10 kid products that should have been made for adults. These are products that were intended to be made for kids, but they're so either absurd, wild, crazy, inappropriate, <laughs> that they really should have been intended for adults, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rate them dope or nope so why don't you join us here you know grab a friend grab a family member whatever because we believe you can find absurdity in anything and it's best shared with someone else a laugh is best shared with someone else you know what i mean shut up <laughs> <laughs> i'm like trying to be uplifting shut up about it shut up about it. <laughs> first product vintage et finger light <laughs> it looks like candle wax all it stacked does, on top yeah. of each other it looks like in shrek when he pulls out the wax from his ear and he sticks it on the table <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. what the Finger glows when pressed. <laughs> Ignore that though. This thing's $180. What? You know what I'm noticing here is probably the most shocking thing to me. Supposedly this is viewed once per hour. <laughs> <laughs> Rare and unusual. No longer lights up as the batteries are too old. You know, if I ever lost a finger, I'd want to attach this one just by sewing it on. Look how many there are. <laughs> Look how many. That one's $205. Are. The one on the left looks like he took it while running. <laughs> <laughs> How's ET supposed to phone home now? Add to cart. Oh man. <laughs> Wait, it's Tanner's skin it's, color. Yeah, I'm like, it's Tanner's skin color. Whatever. Oh, that is a really weird color. Is that what I look like? That's what I look like bald, okay? That's why I can't go bald, everybody. If you just shaved all the hair on your body, <laughs> yeah. this is Tanner. Like those little hairless cats. <laughs> that's, literally, that's literally me at like 65, you know what I'm saying? There's wrinkles everywhere. Oh man, $200. All the collectors are gonna be so upset that I'm about to open this. Yeah, I just don't like when packages start to look burnt from yeah, time. on the edges. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea of this thing is that you literally stick it on your finger and you walk around and go, E.T. <laughs> Don't say it like that, dude. Does he touch him on the forehead or does he stick it in the mouth? <laughs> he works his way down. He goes, <laughs> Could you imagine giving a wet willy with that thing? No. <laughs> what about an inverse wet willy? Stick it in there, you gotta stick it in your mouth. <laughs> Now, the qualifying factors for dope or nope. Dope is if it was intended for kids and it is appropriate for kids. Nope is if, gosh, I hate that. Uh. Nope <laughs> is if it shouldn't be for kids. So we also have a bit set up where we have an ET bike. Oh my gosh. All right, who wants to be Henry? Who looks most like Henry? One of you two, let's get real, I'm brown. I think it's me. I think I look most like Henry. Okay. Ah, uh, there's a lawnmower. This is gonna be great for sound, but I'm gonna take you home, kid. <laughs> or whatever you are. <laughs> I've never seen the movie. I'm gonna take you home. Okay? Now keep the finger. Hey, there he is, come on. Oh, oh no! <laughs> but be yelling. <laughs> Can we just include that? Get at! Get him! Get at! Get back! Shout out to Swagtron for this dope bike. Basket not included. <laughs> We're almost there. We're gonna get it. We can go real fast now. Also, the alien's not included. I have an article here. <laughs> Don't shout it, just be nice about it. I have an article here. <laughs> it is how one grieving father got lawn darts banned. No jokes about this, this is sad. Yeah, this yeah, is this actually is sad. Serious. So there was an old toy that got used like this kid right here. It was actual darts that you would put in separate areas of the lawn, like, like not giant separate lawns, darts. giant, yeah, like lawn giant darts. darts. And you would throw them, they'd fly in the air, and it was kind of like a javelin. The tips were actually like pointy, like actual darts. Yeah, pointy and so lawn darts. going through this, uh, lawn darts or jarts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like George, dude. It's like George, but with poo in them. I got jarts. <laughs> I got the jarts. I got jarts. Over a period of eight years, lawn darts had sent 6,100 people to the emergency room. 81% of those cases involved children 15 or younger, and half of those were 10 or younger. Oh my gosh. The majority of injuries were to the head, face, eyes, or ears, oh and many God. had ears. led to permanent injury or disability. Why would they keep selling these? Well, we found recreated versions. Oh my gosh, they look like they've metal tips. So it's legit just like darts. You know, obviously the closer you get to the bullseye, the more points you get. All right, well, I'm gonna put one on Matt's butt. We're gonna see how many points I get. Let's go ahead and add the basket. Just hold these. I'm not gonna, you can hold them. <laughs> I didn't want to joke about that. Package actually really cool though. I like the logo. What's the matter with you? I'm trying to open a box here. Go from the other side where the opening is. There's an opening on both sides. 
I can't see all these. I gotta turn to me the wrong way. It's okay, I'm still training him on unboxing. <laughs> what is a box, by the way? <laughs> wow, this is heavy. This is like a hit to the head. Oh, it's whoa. Dang, yeah, there is heavy. With these. It doesn't even matter if it's sharp or not. Yeah. I was questioning whether it would like puncture skin or not. And now I'm like pretty convinced you throw this hard enough, it'll literally go through your skull. Yeah. It's got enough weight and inertia if you're throwing it to literally just. I'm gonna drop it from right here. Oh, jeez. Did it do anything? Yeah, of course it did oh, something. Dang. Put a big hole in it. That's just gravity. That's just <laughs> gravity. You're right. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, so we are in the back of BU, Battle Universe. If you haven't checked out that channel, check it out right there. We're gonna play some lawn dart. As you can see, the Doper Nope team has amazingly made indoor grass. So the idea here is that you gotta get it in that hole. The red holes, you get double points. All right, Tan Man. It's gonna be impossible. Okay, a little harder. A little harder. I remember my first toss. No, 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 watch out, we gotta throw stuff. That's how you get stabbed in the back, Johnny. Yeah, that's oh. how people get hurt. Oh! Oh! Wow, he's good, but I he turned. also was three feet closer than yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going from back. Just because you're shorter doesn't mean you need to be closer. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. I'm bad at this. Oh! I'm talking about my boy! <laughs> Did you get it in the red? Nice. That was a second try! Yeah, that was from downtown. I'm impressed. Even though they work, I'm still gonna say too dangerous I'm to saying play. Not for kids, not I'm for saying kids. Dope. It's a dope. Nope. It's a nope, because it's not for kids. This next product is a like to dare. That's right, we are bringing it back again because we want to do another dare in oh. public. This gives me so much anxiety. Oh, you. I didn't agree to this. This product is part of today's video. We will unbox it, but we won't do the dare until you meet the like goal, and then we'll go out and do something with it. I hate standing out. I just want to do my stuff, but like no one see who I am, you know? Well, if you're in front of millions right now. <laughs> There's people behind that camera. I thought I was losing my mom. <laughs> my mom. <laughs> All right, so we have a Harry Potter Nimbus 2000 sound vibrating broom Quidditch. Yeah, why? Vibrating? Why? Exactly, right? You're not getting that at uh, like, Universal it, Studios, it I'll tell you. <laughs> I never got brooms like this either, though, because you can't even sweep with that. Look at that. Look at the end of that thing. You're going to sweep with that? It depends on how big it is. It's got zero surface area. I'm sure you can still get some, some work done. All right, we're going to go ahead and buy now. Where does a vibrating broom help you? Does it stimulate oh. your hands? Maybe it just gives you feedback that you're flying. Oh, you're flying. Yeah, yeah no, I got, wait, you just got that? No, like. Wait, let me feel. That vibrates way too much. <laughs> It's so loud, too. That's louder than my hair dryer. So that's supposed to simulate like riding in the wind, you yeah, know, like, like there's a oh, lot of turbulence. Dodging all the other Quidditch players, trying to, you know, get, what are the little things called? Quidditches? Snitches? Quidditches, yes, Quidditches. that's it. What, stop. <laughs> I almost believed you for a minute. It's me, Perry <laughs> Hotter. <laughs> no, they're called snitches. Are you being real? They're called man? snapples, dude. Snitch, quaffle, bludger. Blood. <laughs> Those are actually all the real names. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the goal here? What's the idea? Is that? Ride right. it around. So, that's the dare. Right Someone's got to do it. No, that's the dare. You got to do it in public. Not here, in public. What's public? Out there. Out there. In the universe. <laughs> do you guys understand how much anxiety I have with that? So we're going to dress up. Use, as a wizard. As a wizard and like oh, act man. like we just got off of our flight from. <laughs> from wherever. <laughs> from, yeah, the Diagon Alley. So since it's Michael's product, he's going to be the one that has to do it. We just decided because that's what I want. If you guys want him to do so. I'm not going to go easy. I'm going to say you got to give 120. Wow. K likes. Lower than what I would have done. But he said it. 120k likes. Wow, I would have done 200 and something. <laughs> Wait, what? 120k. 120k. I mean, are we really allowed to do that? They high can record? get that in a day. They hit 200k likes. They hit like 300k to get me to eat the lax. Okay, 200k <laughs> likes, and I'll do this in public. Guys, <laughs> make sure you comment the word <laughs> snitch yeah. down below. And Michael will go to where? Uh, Chick fil A. Do it in front of the Chick fil A line. We don't serve wizards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next product. <laughs> Vintage Batman water gun. This is my childhood, dude. $99. <laughs> this gun better be special. I can't make a clean joke about this. I don't think you can. Everything that has to do with the squirt gun, you know, I just can't say hey, a joke. Hey, he's squirting out of his mouth. Oh, so it's like you're hitting him and like. <laughs> like yeah, you just threw him in the up. Gut. Yeah. yeah. Like you ever been kicked in the no-no spot so hard that you throw up? No. No. Really? You have? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you say it's so normal? <laughs> I didn't. I haven't. Though. I've heard of people doing that. I'm just surprised no one in this room has been kicked that hard. Good for you guys. You, you backed know? out of that real quick. Yeah, yeah, no, me neither, but. So the idea here is that you push hard and he throws up. <laughs> this is weird in so many levels. Okay, $100 add to cart. We're doing it, people. I am so excited. 
Why is he dirty? Is that the question you're asking out of this product? <laughs> we just talk about where you have to fill up the water gun. Oh my gosh. Not in the bat cave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tanner. Look at the <laughs> face. He's like, oh man. Oh, why is he bleeding out of it? He got hit in the bat spot. If I was the creator of Batman, I'd be so upset. Batman never bends <laughs> to crime. <laughs> There you go. Good save. And that's crime! <laughs> Can we get some water up in here? <laughs> this is weird. This is a weird thing to be a part of. This is the second weirdest thing I've done on Dope or Nope. What was the first? First one was when Matt rode me like a horse. Oh, come on. You think that's worse than when you peed in a golf club? Just for confirmation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe my appetite hasn't been lost. Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> <gasps> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> You guys, that shot all the way and hit Dave. Dude, Dude took this thing as power. Dude, open your mouth. No. <laughs> That's like an intense squirt gun. That is strong. I like this. You can have it. Just don't give it to a kid because I rate that a no. Yeah, for kid usage, that's a hard no. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to show this video. I mean, the baby's happy. Statistics show that more accidents can occur in the bathroom than in any other household area. Preach. I can attest to that one right there. Is that Hulk Hogan's wife? <laughs> this toy was intended to help toddlers stay afloat during bath time. Unfortunately, the plastic rings were known to rip and leak air, leading to a drowning risk. Oh, oh I thought they were going to say... As far as from what our team found in research, no babies actually like were oh. harmed. Just there were dangers within this product. You can actually still buy this. Why are they still selling it? Raising the bar on bath time and water play? This is definitely flawed. You, can, you don't want to just put it around the baby's neck because like they said, if it does deflate, then the baby is just- Literally underwater instantly. Yeah, and it's on around the neck. It looks like they're choking it even when it's- just floating there. And B, why are you filling the bathtub up that high for the poor baby? Your baby should take a bath in a sink, not in a bathtub. Look at that poor kid. They're, They're like, like hanging, hanging the baby by the, by the neck. neck. And this is in a deep pool. This is like preying upon like dumb parents, you know? Like sometimes parents can be really, really dumb. Instead of like choosing to educate themselves first, they'll just like trust a brand like this. Never do that. Educate yourself first and then buy things. No, this is not it. That's all there is to it? I don't even understand this. This is not, you don't have all the, no, you don't have all the stuff. There's more. This is the stuff. No, no, no. It's missing stuff. Oh, well, there's the- Your baby just slips right out. The only thing that's keeping a baby in this- Is its neck. Is how tight you put it around its <laughs> neck? Yes, that's what I was saying. You I can't even believe it. that. I wouldn't use this on myself. Well, I guess I'm going to, but- <laughs> <laughs> I thought at least there was some sort of like system to like hold the baby up. No, it's literally just plastic around the baby's neck just buckled. Oh my gosh, the baby's gonna like suffocate. To be clear, it's only tight around my, I mean, I guess you can adjust it, but it's barely tight around my. Around my. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the only thing that's supposed to really work here, that's what you're supposed to do. And it's supposed to just, their head is what's supposed to prevent them from drowning. The size of their head. Also, who the heck, who the heck puts underwear on a baby? It's called a diaper, rookies. No, nah, dude, that baby just potty trained really early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like, don't worry about me, mom. I'm gonna wait till I get into the toilet. <laughs> yeah. By the way, when I do, put one of these on me. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Don't throw the baby. <laughs> I love babies. 2015 McDonald's Happy Meal Minions Talking Caveman Minion Toy Number Five. What the frolicles? What's a so, frolicle? Like a hair follicle? The frolics. The frolics. That frolics. <laughs> it kind of dances around. Like mine, they just frolicked away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so pretty much, this is a Happy Meal toy that is said to have some oh naughty words. Mm -hmm. Can we just think about like how cool a Happy Meal was? Oh, they the were the best. peak. They were the peak of our time. How could you get better than that? Fast food plus a toy, all for a low price. It's a win-win. And to be honest, the toy. Toys weren't even that good as a kid. Oh, they were trash. It was just plastic. But the idea of getting plastic was so fun. All right, so we got a video to go along with this guy of some parents that bought these toys for their kids. Here's a phrase upsetting him. He thinks it says WTF. Why is his shirt off in this interview? And it's raining outside. Robert Fraser got several for his daughters as well. As soon as we heard it, our mom took it away and I listened to it. And that's when we found out that's what it was saying. That's not what it's saying. I just heard bop, bop, bop. That's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard bup, bup, bup. Bye now. <laughs> what the heck? It's a minion. It's a cave minion. <laughs> I'm a day. Oh. That one kind of sounds like it. That does sound like Let it. See. Right there. I actually can hear that. Okay, so one of them does sound like you're saying WTF. <laughs> so serious. <laughs> <laughs> he was, huh? <laughs> 
I hear bop bop bop. Stop. <laughs> bop. All, all I hear is bop bop bop. I still think that's a dope. I'm gonna say it's a dope. It's a dope, yeah. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't say anything. No. Bin Master recalls aqua dots. Children became unconscious after swallowing beads. What is an aqua dot? They're pretty much these little beads that you can make different designs out of them. Orbeez? Kinda. So you pretty much get the beads wet and they'll like stick together and then you can make different shapes. Why did they become unconscious? The coating of the beads that causes the beads to stick to each other when the water is added contains a chemical that can turn toxic when many are ingested. Children who swallow can become comatose, develop respiratory depression, or have seizures. So a bunch of kids everywhere were having seizures or they were like going into comas and the parents didn't know why then they found out their kids were eating these little beads. Oh my god. If you're making kids toys, it should have to go through like a chemist, yeah. in my opinion. They should have to be like, what is it made of? These three things? Any responsible company should do that. Even it's for adults, because well, adults are stupid too. They're actually still being sold. So, they, they must have fixed them. Yeah, so they're still being sold. The chemical that once previously contained, it just no longer contains. But I don't know, from right off the bat, I'm gonna say they're still dangerous though. But it says four plus on the packaging. Oh, add the cart! Is there? Oh! No heat, no glue, no mess. We're gonna put that to the test. The rest. We're gonna put to test the rest. You rhymed all that, so I finished it off on a rhyme. Because we're the best. You know what's gonna happen the minute I open this up? We're gonna lose them all. They're gonna go everywhere. And your boy's gonna be sad. So here's the problem with these bees. They're gonna go everywhere. He forecasted it. The problem with these beads is they look like candy. So I would eat these. Well, see, here's the thing. Even if you're relatively old, you don't want to use water. You want to use saliva. Put a bittering agent on it so Dude, kids wouldn't eat it. Dude, your tongue is blue. No, it's not. No, it is. Dude, your tongue is blue from that. It was blue earlier. Yeah, it's gushing. Oh, yeah, it's gushing. Don't sell it, Dave. <laughs> Dave, I know. Let me add this one. <laughs> yeah, that's a bettering that agent. so bitter. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put like a little water on the table. You see that water? Then I'm gonna just kind of push these guys into it. And then I'm gonna, I don't know, like what do you do? Do you like- All right, ready? And then movie magic. Boom! I don't understand. So we pretty much got these all wet. We made the Dope or Nope logo. Oh, that's the Dope or Nope logo. And then they dry together, and then boom. That's cool. Dope or Nope, I think it's a nope. You think it's a nope? Just because of the age it's gearing it toward on the packaging. It's still saying four plus. Four plus? Definitely not four plus, like eight plus. Okay! okay. Nope! Sale! New Sale! <laughs> it's like a hot dog vendor. Sally! Sally! <laughs> got a hot dog here! You want a hot dog, hot dog! <laughs> <laughs> no! Silly sausage reaction game toy hot dog. Fun kids, adults party game. Oh, so it is an adult. Kids and adults. You look here, we got the silly sausage, which has gotta be the worst brand name in history. It says, check out my five moves. <laughs> it's got a hot dog, it's got a banger, and it's got jumbo. Turbo. Turbo. <laughs> I knew I should have gotten the turbo. <laughs> It's, it's pretty much just a like bop it, sock it, rock it. Those little like things you put. Rock it? I don't think it's a, it's a bop, bop it, it, sock it, twist it, pull it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this guy's never yeah. bopped it. There's a commercial for this. Hey, silly sausage. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so big. Oh my gosh, it's like walking at me. Who three? It's who, like a horror movie. Who computer generated this thing? Wait, pause it. Robert, can you make that scene where he's walking at the camera? Can you turn that into a horror movie? Yeah, I'm seeing the same thing. <laughs> Wow, this has got to be the worst product ever made. Write a comment. Just say I love this. Firstborn absolutely loves this toy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bud. You next. Go <laughs> like that comment, everybody. <laughs> Bye now. We got a hot sausage. You have grown tremendously in your unboxing technique. You Channel have fruit. now gotten my certification. Thank you. If you shake my hand, it means I'll never be on Dope or Nope again. I disappear as a person because you take my place. <laughs> <laughs> All the viewers getting shook as heck. <laughs> Channel, don't touch that! Shimalata, Kringle. The high score is 42. How does someone already beat me? Go. What did he say? You he's, lost. He's speaking in sausage. <laughs> Dip him. What is the rules of this character? Right here. Right here. Dip me? Like in saw. Shake me. <laughs> this, why you should I get so aggressive? Why did I have to get the sausage? Shake me. Shake me. Twist me. Did you hear that? I shook him. He said, shake me and then twist me before I could shake him. So I shook him and it registered the shake, but not the twist. This thing sucks! Oh. You shook it. Yeah, now you're in it. Shake me. Dip me. Dip him. Dip. 
And he's, I think, he, I thought, he, I keep singing. I think, I thought, I sing, <laughs> singing. <laughs> I said, I'm Hold me. Ah! You little waiter! <laughs> Why? Major anxiety. That's a nope. I feel more comfortable if he just asked. He's like, hey, can you poke me? I'm like, yeah, sure. He's like, poke me, with me, get me. So calm down. Poke me! All right, well, I think that's a dope. All right, so we got the kitty taser. What? Attention parents and guardians. Kitty taser is here. Oh my gosh, what? Is the kitty taser a terrible idea? Yes. Does the idea of zapping a kid with an electrified product make me giddy inside? What? Absolutely. Is this product probably fake? Almost definitely. Either way, can you imagine chasing her little brother or little sister around the house with your very own taser no longer would you have to share the phone no more would your siblings hog the bathroom violence is the answer they're providing so they still sell it we found it it's on amazon uh, zapper toy i bought two of these zappers for my kids and they love them they run and pretend to zap each other it makes a zapping sound but that's about it i gave it a four because one broke the day after i received <laughs> it i gave it four out of five stars 80 percent because it sucks yeah <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's kind of realistic. So it's not going to actually tase anybody, right? Yeah, but it's going to scare the heck it's out of people. It's going to scare people. But it's also going to be teaching bad habits to where it's like, oh, it's fun it's to, funny tase, to people. tase people. Yeah. yeah, and I'm already going to say no, because what if kids take this to school? And then they think it's like a fun thing to have at school, and then like, you know, they're getting in trouble because it's like not safe. Oh my gosh. Ages three and up. No, stop. Bottom right. Oh yeah, right there. Ages three and up right there. I'm not gonna lie to you. Luna would love this thing. Wait, whoa, whoa. Give me the black paper. Did that say Matthew 5, 9? I think it's a Bible verse on it, dude. Matthew 5, 9. Matthew. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. This is a peacemaker. <laughs> More, <laughs> no, that's a pacemaker. <laughs> I don't know. It just doesn't sound like one to me. It sounds like I'm starting a car or a fart. I don't even think this would get anyone around the office. I'm gonna say it's a nope. I think yeah. it's a nope anyways. It's not like that crazy. It's not that cool. In a previous video, we pitched you guys a product and we actually did a collaboration with Sam from Totally Trendy. It was titled 10 of the world's smallest products that actually work. And it was a DIY video. And in one of the products, we found a doll that this, that has hair all over its body and you're supposed to, you can shave the baby. What's with the leg hair? I've never seen, I've never That's seen a baby go through puberty. Hair. This looks like Donald Trump mixed with Chucky. Guys. <laughs> so this was the prototype, but this was sold, I believe, in like Japan. But people are actually remaking this product into this on Etsy and they're selling it. I don't want to look. <laughs> look. Look at it, dude. No. How are you even supposed to shave that? That's not how shaving works. I don't tape hair to my face every morning. <laughs> no. Tanner, I can't do it. Click add to cart. I don't want to. Michael, click add to cart. I'll do it because it's already here. Add to cart. Look at the beard on her. It's better than Michael's. Look at her legs. <laughs> Look at the arm hair. She looks like Sasquatch. Oh, oh no. no. There's hair in the uh, packaging. There's hair on the shaver. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so see, this one is concerning because the other, wow, look at those legs. That is hard to look at. This is getting into the weird side of YouTube. This is not even doing anything. You need the shaving cream. No, you don't. Shaving cream doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, it does. Look at her armpit hair, bro. It's not even coming off, dude. I, I tried. I couldn't get any hair off. You didn't try. All right, okay. bring it in. All left leg. Oh my gosh, you're literally gonna rip off the skin. Oh my gosh. Do I have a dip? Hey, remind me to never hire you as a barber. <laughs> it got some hair off, so let's take a quick look just to show off some stuff. I will show that I did shave a bit, but since she doesn't have skin and these aren't hair follicles, sorry everybody, I made a mess. Just like whoever made this product. That is one cheap Barbie doll too. I'm gonna rate that a dope. I'm saying that's a hardcore nope. No! You guys, we wanna give a big, big, big uh, times three mucho grande shout out to Karen Longbird for becoming a member of the Dope or Nope family, man. If you guys want to become a member just like Aaron, check out that join button and we'll see you there. Hit the dab. Just kidding. <laughs> Did it anyway. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of our other content. This video right here, that is 10 of the world's smallest DIY products that actually work. It's a cool, it's a collab with Totally Trendy. Check it out. This product right here is a video that YouTube recommends just for you. And you guys, thank you for supporting Dope or Nope. Check out these videos. If you guys enjoyed it, let us know in the comments down below. Let us know what your favorite part of this video was and we'll see you next time. Peace. Anime.